Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. I'm just here to put down our cards for us for next week. Um, hope everybody's keeping okay. Hope everybody's keeping nice and safe. Staying indoors when we've been asked to and sticking to the rules so that we can get this thing over as quickly as possible. Um, you know, we all just stay home got a much better chance of getting this thing shifted in a, in a quicker space of time than if we all just don't listen. So I hope you're all safe and well, tucked up at home, doing what you have to do. Obviously, I know some people have to go and, and do their jobs and thank you very much to those people that are doing that for us. I'm just going to have a little shuffle and put down a couple of cards to have a look at what we need to know about next week and the sort of energy that we might need to be aware of or that we, we might need to adopt to help us move forward through this week. Okay, so this is the black and white Faulkner deck that I'm using. Let's have a little, <coughs> excuse me, look and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got the Knight of Swords. Um, Sorry about the quality of the picture in the Knight of Swords. This is from a very older deck. Because um, if you've watched my stuff before, you'll know that at some point I lost my Knight of Swords from this deck and a couple of the major arcana ones as well. Still haven't come to they still haven't come out to play. I have no idea where they could be. Um they will come back at, as at some point, I'm absolutely certain. But at the moment we've got our Knight of Swords, and you can hardly see him. Um but what the Knight of Swords talks about is this kind of um, sudden and unexpected changes um, and having to go with those changes. You know, changes happening um, quickly, um, in this case, quite frequently. You know, everything is changing as we speak, really, isn't it? All the time. Um, we just have this energy of change going on around us. And, you know, not really understanding half of it and, and not really um, being able to make sense of it, worrying about it, all of that head stuff that goes on with those swords cards. But the Knight of Swords also is, is, a, is a strong card because it talks about clarity, being clear in your thoughts. So you are, um, you are not your thoughts. You are the thinker of your thoughts. So keep your thoughts as positive as you can. Try not to let yourself go down a wormhole. I went right down a wormhole a couple of days ago, worrying about something that I had absolutely nothing, no control over, um, and ended up feeling really, really rough because of it. Um, and it took me a little while to get out of that and to just be in an energy of, right, well, you know what, it hasn't happened yet, so let's just not go down there and trust myself to deal with what I need to deal with should I ever need to deal with the thing that I was worrying about. So that was um, an adventure. So the Knight of Swords talks about having that clarity, not, not letting yourself do that too much. Um, I would also recommend reading or listening to um, a guy called Eckhart Tolle, who talks about being able to live in the moment be in the moment be in the now he wrote a book called the power of now which is excellent i'm going to be rereading that this week because that really helps us in scenarios like this where we really don't know what's happening next you know we are in that what if place aren't we um so yeah really good and if i can find any videos for, on youtube from him i'll link them down below so that may help you i'm gonna have a look at um a card from our textured tarot that we were using because I was going to start using this in March and then last week I stopped because I just felt like I wanted to get really into it with that black and white Faulkner deck because that is just such a powerful deck but we'll have a look and see what we get in this card in this deck today about what we might need to know moving forward into next week okay so there we go I'll have a little shuffle this is the textured tarot um, it's an independent deck that you, is available on Etsy and I will put a link below if I can find it for you because I think it is still available. And here we have the Page of Swords. So lots of thinking 
cards um, this week. Again, I think we had lots of thinking last week as well. So about our thought processes. Page of Swords is change your perspective. Try to look at things in a different way. Have new ideas. Be able to embrace things and see things as a new adventure see things in a different way um it's really interesting because at the moment we're all here aren't we we're all not able to move we're all stuck um you know our bird here he's landed <clears throat> so he's on the ground but all these birds are kind of flying away it's saying to me and um that we will have that freedom again you know, at the moment we don't, we don't have our freedom. We're like that bird, aren't we? We're sort of stuck on top of um, all of our all of our books and things that we're going to be reading because you know, we're all stuck indoors. So it's saying, you know, just really try to know that you will have your freedom again and that you will be able to fly. But at the moment we're, we're grounded here. So let's build upon what we know, build our knowledge um, and, and be able to grow from that. So it's about being able to look at things in a slightly different way. Sorry, I'll get my hands out of the way. Um, so that we can grow and we can progress. And, you know, she's got her spyglass there, so she's looking to the future. And I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, be consistently in the future, but know that that things will change you know the knight of swords all about change so there there will be changes coming for us um that will be that we will be able to have that freedom back again um so just bear that in mind i'm just going to have a little shuffle and put down a brian card to help us um see what brian's got to say See what lovely Brian's going to say for us today. Showtime. So that's interesting, isn't it? Um, because we're not many of us feel that way. Not many of us feel like it's showtime and that there's loads of stuff all happening for us. But, you know, what showtime to me talks about is being able to um, kind of maybe be creative. Maybe maybe get your kids together we know we're all in the house together maybe get them to put on a puppet show maybe get them to do a little play maybe sing maybe dance maybe learn an instrument be creative so this time that we've got now where we've said oh I've never got time to learn an instrument I've never got time to learn a language I've never got time to do any of that you have now so take that into consideration if you are one of the people that's kind of at home most of the time just be able to embrace that, embrace some creativity and, and also, you know, be who you are. Um, allow yourself to be yourself. Um, you know, there might be things that you'd really, really love to, to do, and but you haven't had time to. You've been too busy working or you've been out here, there and everywhere too busy. Um, well, now we've got a little bit of time on our hands. Um to be able to do those things and to find a way to enjoy the time that we have, even though we might feel restricted, the freedom we want will be there. And actually you can be free even within your four walls, you know, by meditation, imagination, writing, you know, write a story. If you can't be out and doing the things you want to be doing, write about it, uh, express yourself, you know, this is the Showtime card, I think, is, is a really creative card. So hopefully that has helped a little bit. Stay safe, everybody. And I will be back again next week. I'll try and, I might try and do some other little bits and pieces during the week if I can. Um, I'm still working. I do work from home, but I am still working. So um, I'm kind of fitting the videos where I can. Um, hopefully I'll be able to, I've got some unboxings I need to do, so hopefully I'll be able to do some of those. Um, and also there's a couple of hashtags I want to do a video response to. So hopefully get those done this week. If you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And, um, if you like this kind of thing and you could subscribe to my channel, that would be brilliant. And I will speak to you all next week. Stay safe, everybody.